Good evening. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in today's free video I wanted to look at some ideas that I have been sharing in NVIDIA. So the first thing that I want to point out, and I'm hiding all of the <laughs> the uh, titles and everything else from this because I'm not trying to pick a fight. I mean obviously I have losing trades, everybody has losing trades, and to come out and take a stance I think is very important. Um, but when I saw this over the weekend, it's like, ah, that's not really, you know, you just have that certain little thing in the back of your mind where it's like, man, I am super long NVIDIA. Seeing headlines like this aren't especially thrilling, but you should really put that stuff out of your mind and instead say, you know what, I don't care what the media says. Instead, what I am focused on is looking at a technical setup. And as you drill down into NVIDIA, you can see that these moving averages were trading in favor of the bullish side. Not to mention we had several squeezes that also suggested that NVIDIA was poised to move higher. So even though some of the headlines that were coming out may have not have been, you know, quite as favorable as you might like to think about, just remember to put that completely out of your mind. And instead of focusing on the headlines, instead focus on your position and how you can manage inside of that. So with the move that we saw in NVIDIA today, obviously very beneficial for our directional call options that we placed based off of the squeeze. And that's the most straightforward way to play it. That's the way that, you know, if you grow up trading directional options, that's probably the most uh, basic way to play it. But another way that I think is worth your time to learn, especially when you're faced with situations where you're heading into last Friday, we were right on top of a witching expiration. So what I did with this is into last Friday, I said, okay, I'm going to sell naked the 152 half NVIDIA puts. Now you don't see those here, you only see the long calls that I currently still hold. But the whole concept is saying, okay, if I can sell those naked puts around a monthly expiration and then NVIDIA moves higher, I will collect that premium. If I sell those options naked and I do not get it to expire worthless, well then I take assignment of the shares. And I want to be very careful to do that in the prevailing direction of the trend. So I sold those puts, I took assignment of 200 shares, and then you look at the activity here, this is where you sell those on the gap higher today, and it's kind of a cheating way of taking you know, additional leverage that you may not truly have the ability to hold. In some situations, depending on the stock that you take, this may generate a margin call, and I don't encourage that. You know, I encourage doing this on small stocks where you can take assignment in the direction of the trend and help yourself out with a little kick to the leverage on Monday. Do not do stuff like this with Google or Priceline and do not do things like this with uh, trades that are going against the trend. But if you get the concept of that and you're trying to enhance your trading around expiration and into the week prior, I think this is a very viable strategy and something you will find profitable if you can use it conservatively over the long term. So I hope that helps. You guys have a great rest of your evening and I will see you at the next free video.